what's it about pain? We're going to look at pH. So the formula for this is negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration. But I'm not really sure how you're going to see it on the exam, but I did want to go over it since it was on the formula sheet. So compare the number of H plus ions in a solution with a pH of 4 to a solution with a pH of 8. So what we'll do is we'll say 4 is equal to the negative log of the H plus ions. We want to get rid of that logarithm. So we take 10 to the on both sides, which will get rid of that logarithm. So 10 to the negative 4 is going to be equal to our H plus ions. We'll do the same thing for the 8. So 8 is equal to the negative log of the H pluses. So that means that we'll take both of them 10 to the. Um, and then that will mean that we get rid of that logarithm. So 10 to the negative 8 is equal to the H plus ions. And so the difference between this is 10 to the 4 or 10,000 more H plus ions. So pause the video, see if you can do this problem yourself. According to the Acid Rain Monitoring Project of University of Massachusetts, the pH measured at King Philip Brook on April 10, 2012, was near 5, which the pH measured at Robbins Pond on the same date was near 7. Determine the nearest whole number, how many times greater the hydrogen ion concentration was at King Brook, King Philip Brook. So 5 is equal to the negative log of the hydronium ions. So then we're going to get rid of it by taking 10 to the on both sides. So 10 to the negative 5 is equal to our H plus ions. We'll do the same thing with our 7. So 7 is equal to the negative log of the H plus. We'll take 10 to the on both sides, gets rid of our <laughs> logarithm. And then that tells us that 10 to the negative 7 is equal to the H plus. Um, so the difference between this is 100. So there's 100 more H plus ions in the pH of 5. Hope this was helpful. Remember, 8 by a penguin was just a test by all.